Hey, it's Scott Hinton with the After the Show show with a simple little question. How many times does Chris Christie have to say, I'm not running, before we actually take him at his word? Hello? I'm starting to go stark raving mad about this. We, play, we played actually a montage of the many times Chris Christie said, I'm not running, I'm not running. Uh, would I have to commit suicide to prove to people I'm not running? By the way, I'm not ready. I believe you have to believe in your heart you're ready to be president. I'm not ready. Gosh, this is crazy. I don't think this is the uh, masses pining for more in the uh, presidential field. I think this is some self-serving folks who are worried that Rick Perry might win, Mitt Romney might win. I don't like the field. This is folks wanting to maneuver things a little bit. One of our questions today, whether or not uh, this is you know, a reality or there's just a misplaced perception that's out there. You can answer at scotthinnon.com or at our Facebook page. Check it out. Other questions, while we're speaking of questions, uh, President Obama has blamed global warming for the wildfires in Texas. Any truth to that? Funny? No. And I know that the uh, mainstream media will soon correct this at any time, uh, but uh, let me uh, actually share something that uh, one of our guests today, Mark Morano from ClimateDepot.com, shared with us that a fellow by the name of Dr. Robert Horling, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Research Meteorologist, said, by the way, the lead author of the U.S. Climate Change Science Plan. This is Mr. Science. Hmm. Obama. Having a little problem with science. Hmm. This should be in the media. It should be everywhere. He uh, clearly and emphatically dispelled the notion that climate change has anything to do with the droughts in Texas. This is not the new normal in terms of drought. Texas knows drought. Texas has been toughened on the anvil of droughts that have come and gone. This is not a climate change drought. From Mr. Pointy Head, super research meteorologist, scientist, expert, uh, author of U.S. Climate Change Science Plan, Interesting, yeah. So we asked the question, uh, any truth to the charge? Are you a uh, global warming zealot? You think, yeah, Obama's right. Or uh, do you want to believe the scientists here? You tell me. Uh, was this a political cheap shot? At Rick Perry, it was. And you know what? The reason it was is because the president gets by with it. The media ignores it. Yes. You can weigh in on that question. We also um, are talking about that wacky, creepy Joe McGinnis, that author uh, that's written this... Uh, National Enquirer piece on Sarah Palin moved in next to her. That's why I call him creepy and uh, wacky because tawdry gossip and salacious stories are what are in his book. And those are his words. Uh, <laughs> uh, worried uh, in an email that uh, Andrew Breitbart unearthed that uh, there was no factual evidence in his book and, and he needed to find some quick. He didn't find any. Now Sarah Palin's talking about suing. Should she? I think so. Also on the program today, uh, we had uh, our friend Orrin Hatch on the Obama administration fast-tracking more green jobs like Salandra. Uh, we also talked a little bit about the fact that FEMA running out of money was a fraud, and despite the fact Harry Reid and the others were rushing to try and use that as a reason to railroad more spending by uh, Republicans, it uh, is a fraud. Talk to a veteran White House reporter who broke uh, free from the mainstream media. is writing a blog now called White House Dossier on the president's rhetoric like this against Rick uh, Perry and other things he's saying on the campaign trail. Uh, also had a great chat with Victor Davis Hanson, a great historian, a good thinker, who uh, talked about how the redistribution of wealth is really, sadly, a symptom of aging societies, of which we are one. Kind of scary. Tim Carney, Obamanomics author political commas for Washington Examiner, talking about the fact that uh, more and more it looks like Mitt Romney might be the nominee. That's what he's thinking. Are you ready to concede that? Not me either. Ralph Reed was on the show today. I mentioned Mark Morano and uh, all kinds of uh, fun audio clips, including uh, Michael Moore. That wasn't so fun. But we did get Rob Port to say he agrees with uh, Michael Moore in one thing. That was kind of fun. Uh, we also have the president saying all the Obamacare negotiations will be on C-SPAN, and uh, CNS News caught up with Brian Lamb said, why wasn't it on C-SPAN? He said, well, the president never asked. Wasn't that fun? Yeah. So anyway, there's the after the show show, a little recap of um, today's program. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for listening. The Scott Hinton Show on the Common Sense Club. Bye, folks.